This is a goose hunting story about two Laurens. Lauren Carley. I like to do different things. I like to do new things. A new hunter and a nature lover. <laughs> All right, guys. I've been down there. Do y'all want to see some grapes that actually grow wild here? Yeah. yeah? And Lauren Laborde, an avid hunter, you go. <gasps> a busy mom, and a nine to fiver, eager for the escape. Get out, you know, away from the computer screen. Stop picking up the phone. Stop clicking the mouse. <laughs> Both are here for a special women's only goose hunt. <laughs> setting their sights on a new outdoor experience. It's early December and amongst some coastal farmland, local guide Nick Stillwell takes a peek at tomorrow's hunting spot. Uh, we're out here uh, south of Bay City, looking good. A lot of snow geese, anywhere from 10 to 12,000 birds been coming in here. Anytime you're hunting snow geese, you never know what they're going to do. They're the smartest bird out here, so I'm always nervous hunting these birds. I'm ready to shoot some geese. It's four in the morning and the ladies are a short ride from the decoy spread. Yeah, if I can find that ridge, it's a little ridge, a little sandbar. You put them into the wind, you kind of just give a little pop like that, and that wind will catch it and move it and all that good stuff. This is all new, this is all new to me. Mm. I, uh, I am actually kind of sick. Uh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous um, about everything that's going on. I don't really know what to expect. It's warm. I'm, I think I'm overdressed. <laughs> um, 66 degrees this morning is pretty, pretty warm. For Lauren Laborde, this time outdoors is a much needed break. A break from here. So I work for um, a gas company and I do contract compliance. What was going on with the schedule for the platform prep? It's tedious work. Um, it's, it's a lot of reading, a lot of emails. So they're still at the dock. They haven't, they haven't left. It's not as exciting as being out in the field and getting to go hunting or anything like that. The excitement's picked up considerably on the home front with 15-month-old Braylon. Hey, you hungry? You want to eat or do you want to help Dada? Dad is Todd. Both work full days, <laughs> so life is busy. Quick meals, nothing that takes a lot of time. We still have all of the geese from the shoot. We still haven't been able to actually cook them. We got them, so we were gonna make gumbo, but. So there's the geese back here. Braylon decides to interrupt every time we try. But Todd really wants to do like a goose gumbo. It's all about the roux. <laughs> there you go. With such a full schedule, escapes to the outdoors are a priority. This is we're an awesome team and I have the best husband in the entire world. Aww, thank you, honey. <laughs> but lets me go goose hunting and watches the baby and... <laughs> I don't think there's any other way that I can live life. You have to have that balance. When dawn breaks and you're laying flat on your back, you're looking up at the sky, and you're hearing all the little critters. You know, that's when you, I think the, the calmness comes in. Keep real still when we're decoying birds. Uh, don't be fidgeting, wait for me to call the shot. I'll say take them, that's about it. Lay down. Wow, look at that. Y'all get ready. I am really hesitant. Um, I'm kind of slow to get up. I've never shot up to shoot. I've always been standing and hitting something that's going in a uniform pattern. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little hesitant. For Lauren Carley, We're going down this way. she's never hesitant when it comes to helping kids at her day job. This is Lake Houston Wilderness Park. Let's fly! 
Right. And uh, I'm the park naturalist here. I take care of all of the um, kids programs, weekend programs, nature center stuff. Hang on, guys. <laughs> I've always loved the woods ever since I was a kid. I was running around the woods barefoot. Yep, there's a hill. Let's go. I love uh, bringing people, bringing kids especially, into the outdoors and getting them to feel passion for it as, as I do. If you chew on the leaves of this tree, it will make your mouth go numb. I can reach it. The nickname for this tree is Toothache Tree. Kind of weird, huh? Yeah. Muscadine grapes grow on here. I've tried them, I don't like them. They taste kind of funny. I, li I like the regular grapes that you buy at the store. <laughs> Lauren's Nature Center it's a milk snake. is where the hands-on or fingers-on learning really happens. I want you to do two fingers. Can I see your two fingers? I do a lot of education. That's cool. A lot of people that live in the cities, they, they think the outdoors are scary. <laughs> he slay me. And this is a way of sort of bringing them out, showing them things, especially things that I have in the nature center, uh, that it's not, it's not scary. Everything out here isn't gonna kill you. Red and black. Red and black. Friend of Jack. It's now mid-morning in Bay City. The wind has picked up, but geese are still coming in. It should get better as the day goes on. They'll start coming in here and getting thirsty after they feed. We'll see what happens. We got a single right here. Here. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is a chance to get more ladies interested in hunting. I got together with a couple of friends and um, contacted uh, some outfitters to put together a hunt that's designed for women. I wanted for women to feel like they can give themselves permission to go outdoors. And so when they're able to do this, there's a confidence that's involved in this. Yes, who was that? Shadow. As for Lauren Carley, her confidence is getting better. Anytime you see one getting even a little bit close, your heart starts racing. <laughs> You're like, oh, please, please be in front of me. But I'm getting more comfortable as the day goes on. Nice shot. <laughs> Atta girl. They just kept coming pretty much all day, so it was, it was cool. There's really not that much out there for us ladies to, to get together, um, so it was nice to have an opportunity to get together with other ladies who share the same interest or want to learn more. We shot 20 birds today. Yeah, pretty good for, for some ladies here. We did a good job. <laughs>